Hello guys and welcome to another EU4 history video. Today we are going to be looking at Vasily II, who was Grand Prince of Muscovy in 1444. Vasily was born in 1415. If you believe the chronicles, Vasily was born under the patronage of higher powers. According to legend, at the time of his birth, the Moscow priest heard the voice of heaven say, Go and give name to Grand Duke Vasily. He went to the Grand Duchess Sophia and was surprised to learn that she had just given birth to a son. After Vasily's father died in 1425, <coughs> Vasily became the Grand Duke of Muscovy, with his mother acting as regent. However, his uncle Yuri challenged Vasily's rule and claimed he was promised a throne by Vasily's grandfather. After a long, chaotic and bitter struggle between Yuri and Vasily, for nine years. Vasily lost the final battle against Yuri near Rostov, which led to Vasily losing his throne to Yuri in 1434. However, Yuri suddenly died after two months of ruling. <coughs> the elder son of Yuri, Kosoi the Squint, claimed the throne. However, Vasily was supported by Kosoi's brothers, and Vasily started a bitter conflict with Kosoi over the throne. Eventually, Kosoi lost the throne where he was captured and blinded in 1435. And his name is John C. Vasily was Grand Prince again. Now that his throne was relatively secure, he had to deal with a Tartar threat. However, this didn't go so well. In 1439, Vasily II had to flee the capital when it was besieged by Ula Muhammad, leader of the Kazan Khanate. Six years later, Vasily personally led his troops against Kazan. Vasily II fought like a hero. When the Tartars grabbed him, his hand was shot through, several fingers were cut off, and blood was shed all over his body. But Vasily was eventually defeated and taken prisoner by Kazan. While Vasily was in captivity, the Kazan leader Mohammed suggested Yuri's younger son, Dmitry Shemyaka, should take the throne. While initially Dmitry accepted, the relationship between Kazan and Muscovy broke down. Kazan let Vasily go for a hefty price. Fearing the wrath of the returned prince, Dmitry fled from Moscow. However, his fears were in vain. Vasily forgave Dmitry and asked him to reconcile. Vasily could not even think what terrible consequences his kindness would lead to. It turned out that Dmitry liked to sit on the throne, and he like his brother, Kosoi, decided to regain the Muscovy throne no matter what. Dmitri plotted against Vasily and turned people against him. He eventually seized him, and Vasily was blinded by Dmitri and exiled. And so, Dmitri became Grand Prince in 1446. However, exiling Vasily proved to be a mistake. Vasily quickly assembled his troops and supporters and regained Bash the throne. Lads. All these years took a massive toll on the Grand Prince. Despite the prolonged civil war, which finally ended in 1452, when Dmitry was poisoned in Novgorod. Muscovy made great strides towards becoming a large, politically consolidated, powerful Russian state during Vasily's reign. The Russian church asserted its independence from the Patriarch at Constantinople, and the state of Muscovy, in an effort to enlarge its territories, absorbed most of the neighbouring countries such as Novgorod. In his later years, the blind prince was greatly helped by his older son. Vasily II died in 1462. Looking at the stats in EU4, they don't represent what Vasily did for Muscovy and should be higher. Thank you guys for watching and I just want to give a shout out to all these people who commented on the last video. Make sure to comment down below on who I should do next. Hello my children. I must give you a message. Subscribe to the social streamers for eternal salvation.